Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is Acts 24, verse 5 to 6, which says, For we have found this man a plague, a creator of dissension among all the Jews throughout the world, a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple, and we seized him and wanted to judge him according to the law. Today I want to talk about harsh words. Where do you think they come from? the enemy. He uses people because it elevates the hurtfulness. In Psalm 64 verse 3, they sharpen their tongues like swords and shoot bitter words like arrows. Who does the enemy use? Hurting people. When people are wounded and hurt, it's, they're more apt to hurt other people. They lash out in their pain. We cannot control what other people think about us or what they say. We do have a choice, though, as to whether we let it affect us or not. This week, we'll be working through the process of discovering how to apply this choice to our lives, as well as how to work through the issues when they affect us, so that we can be healed and free. Proverbs 12 verse 18 says, There is one who speaks like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise promotes health. Don't lash back. Don't in enter into the dysfunction of the other person. Stay free from it. Don't bite the bait. I have two challenges for you today. The first one, make a list of any harsh words that have been spoken to you or over you. At this point, some of you may be rolling your eyes and saying, oh, I, I don't have the time for that because you've had so many harsh words spoken over you or, or to you in your lifetime. But see this as an investment that as you invest this week in the, the process, it's going to bring great healing and freedom to your life and it will be well worth it. Challenge number two, one by one, go over your list for each occurrence, think about the other person and see how their issues were the cause of the outburst. Keep your list so that you continue working on it this week. And if more harsh words come to your mind, then just write them down. Bless you as you separate yourself from the issues of others. We'll see you tomorrow.